Alrighty. Now, the next step is to take this uh, where the pin plunges in. Use the old one. Where this goes in, there's a cup that goes over this, and that cup is what makes contact with the with the lobe and the camshaft. So we gotta take that cup off. It's in here. I just use a small needle needle nose and pliers. And slowly. This is what it looks like. You see, it has two holes that you need to see. What I did was I just stuck the little nose in there, let it grab it, and just kind of wiggled it out. And it's so I will clean it up. It has a groove on it, so you will not make a mistake of putting it back. This groove right here, there's a slide in there that will go in there. And then you see this part? It's like a bearing. It's, oh, I'm sorry. It's like a bearing. It rides. This part rides on the camshaft load. This part presses against the plunger for the fuel pump. So this groove part that rides, in, I mean this bump rides in the groove at the bottom. So that's how it works. Just to do a pinch. See, this is the fuel pump, and this is the piece that you have, and it sits right on it. And the camshaft would just hit this part again and again, and as a result, this pushes it in, just goes in and out. Fuel goes in from here, goes out over there. The problem is, there's internal leak in here. Fuel gets into the uh, into the crankcase. So when we put the new one, it's important to make sure this goes in there. This stays in there. Now I'm gonna show you the load on the crankshaft itself this time. Then there's the lobe for the flashlight here. And that's the part that no, we have to make sure it's on the low side before we put the new one on. And to do that, you have to turn the crankshaft, which is, you can just see it. Crankshaft bolt is right down there, and it takes 21 millimeter. A wrench, a ratchet wrench would be, will make life easier. Like a wrench will fit. Otherwise, uh, socket and a, a ratchet would work too. 21 millimeter. Yeah, there's no wrench with a ratchet in there. So if you are working by yourself, it's better just to use a wrench in there. You can turn that and monitor it here to make sure the load is at its lowest point. By inserting the tool, putting your finger in there. Okay. So now I'm gonna keep turning it and see about locating the lowest point in that loop. See, it's 21 millimeter. 
To here you will feel it put your finger in there keep turning and then you feel it push it on push you back and then let her sink back in you see the lower spot and it comes back up so you back up so that it stays in the low spot all right put the head in it's a mobile one oil Use there. So it will be this thing and I'll put it back in. Alright. We need to put some in there as well. this down before I knock it over. Put the dipstick back. Right. Just remember, this bump goes at the bottom in the groove. All right? And the, the little bearing part goes inside. This part is facing you. Push it in. Alright. 